Aries, welcome to your just-in-time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Aries, trust there's a message here for you, whether you are a regular viewer or this has just popped up in your feed and you've just stumbled across it, trust there's a message here for you. Like, I like to get started here with a couple of oracle cards, and I'm being told here, Aries, it's time to work through your fears. This is the new moon in Scorpio card, and the Scorpio energy is linked with the death card, okay? It's about metamorphosis. It's about release to rebirth, it's uh, letting go to liberate. So there might be some fears around moving into a new cycle, maybe moving away from a comfort zone to enter a new cycle here. You know, and the fears come up, Aries. I mean, our ego has a function of keeping us safe and often what happens is it will put up those objections and those blocks to try and keep us doing the same thing. And we need to push through that to get to the other side, to get to new beginnings. Let's build on this for you, Aries. I've got the Oracle of the Angels here, and I have got a door to the infinite. Well, we're talking about new doors opening, aren't we? So again, you're being asked to move to the new, and there is a portal opening here. But there's also this feeling of, well, we don't really know fully you know, how it's going to go and what is waiting for us, because the life lesson here is in stepping through, okay? But you are being told, Aries, there is infinite possibilities waiting for you. Okay, let's go to the full tarot deck, Aries. I have got Danielle Knowles Moonchild Tarot here. It's a beautiful oracle deck. Tarot deck, actually not an oracle deck. And I am intrigued to see where this is going, being an Aries myself. Four of Pentacles. Okay, well, this is the fear zone, the fear zone energy, Aries. The suffocation point that we feel when we are thinking about moving towards the new, but then we think, well, you know, what if it doesn't work out? Well, I say, what if it works out better than can be expected? So there is a message here while the sun is in your sign, Aries, and happy birthday, whether you've had your birthday or it's coming, that use that extra boost of fuel, that boost of energy to make some moves here. Okay, let's keep going. And you might know what this new opportunity is or... It might still be coming for some of you. Yeah, I mean, the Two of Pentacles talks about making the decision instead of being in the do I, don't I, the limbo land, right? And yes, we might feel unsteady for a period of time before things kind of come back together and stabilize. But we have to go through that point, right, to get to the new. The Magician is here, Aries, the first card in the Major Arcana, and it has been sent to, set to link to your sign. You've actually got everything you need to move forward, right? Now, the Magician is about manifestation becoming reality. Something that you've wanted for a long time is materializing. Work through your fears. Keep going and step through that door. If there's an action that you can take or a communication you need to have, the magician is the energy that is encouraging you to do so. Because where are you heading, Aries? The Four of Wands. Look what's coming. This is... I'm, I'm finding it very intriguing, Aries, that we started with the Four of Pentacles. Okay, number four. And now I have got the Four of Wands. Now, you are the Emperor in the Major Arcana. And that is card number four. So we're looking at wanting to move towards stability and security. This could be in relationship. This could be in your financial uh, area, your work career area. But what I'm being told is that you value stability and security and having that firm foundation areas. But you're actually going to need to destabilize that foundation that you have currently because it's not it, right? It's not where you want to be in order to get to this beautiful, happy, abundant energy of the Four of Wands. The fears are coming up, but that is part of the process, overcoming them and stepping through the door to infinite possibilities. If you are seeing 1111 Aries, that is the universe saying, come on Aries, it's time to take that leap of faith. You've got this. You can do it. And look where it's heading. Boom. There goes the emperor. 444 four, four is your angel number. We have had three fours come out. The sun is in your sign, activating your warrior spirit, your emperor energy, right? This is about making boss moves, taking calculated risks, 
to set yourself up for the future. So for some of you, this could be around going to the next level in your work career, okay? Uh, acknowledging that where you are right now isn't it. So I'm going to look around, I'm going to step into my confidence or I'm going to go and ask for that pay rise. Um, for some of you, it could be, well, I'm sick of this, you know, like, treading water with my finances I'm going to consolidate that debt and I'm going to put everything into it which feels like a step back in order to go forward because I've got an empire to build so you get the picture this is you stepping fully into your power to get to a place that is far better than where you are but there's almost like a step back or a destabilization to get there the moon is here and it's really asking you to, you know, work through the fears, the worries, the paranoia, to look in the dark corners, to look in the shadow side here. There really is new hidden blessings coming for you, but we do need to navigate the Ten of Swords. So what I was feeling with that death energy, right, the death card energy, there is a cycle to complete with the Ten of Swords in order for you to move powerfully forward. And that is what you will do, Eight of Cups. So we're looking at a moving on to move forward, stepping into the unknown of possibilities, that we are going beyond the comfort zone towards greater times of stability and security. But we have to rip up those old foundations, first areas, before we can lay new ones and build that solid empire. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this little message. If you would like to explore it further with a personal reading, the first link down below will pop you over to my website and you can check out what I offer over there. There are other useful links down below as well, including my Instagram account. I'm really active over there with uh, a couple of uh, readings per day and a daily energy reading. So I'd love to have you with me if you choose to follow along. But I will see you back here very soon for another reading, Aries. I'm sending you so much love and magic. Happy birthday. Bye for now.